Hello Flight Summers, hope you are doing fantastic and I guess you have heard by now that a couple of days ago we have received the new simulator update which is prepare version 5.2 and uh, the new update came with quite a few very nice uh, features and updates which I quickly want to talk uh, to you about and also um, yeah, have a look um, how they perform in the sim and uh, maybe this will even have a little bit of a tutorial touch on settings but Mostly uh, we will focus on the uh, yeah, look and feel of the new simulator update. So uh, first things first, the major change which we have received with the new update is now the fact that we can combine the two weather systems, um, enhanced atmospherics and legacy clouds. And that's, I think, really, really cool. So maybe to start off on this topic, what we now have are basically three options to, to set our weather in the sim. So option number one is to turn enhanced atmospherics off and just use the legacy cloud system or leg legacy weather system, if you so like. Option number two would be to use the enhanced atmospherics with the volumetric clouds, which are the true sky clouds. And uh, this is what everyone will have in the sim. So you won't need any um, weather engine or a cloud uh, texture model uh, for this one and then the third option which I think is really cool is now the uh, option to use enhanced atmospherics together with the legacy clouds. So now let's uh, look at these different weather systems in action. So uh, being in the settings menu on the world tab we have the weather down here on the right side and now the first system which is really just the legacy clouds, the legacy weather we would disable enhanced atmospherics and uh, then the slider gets disabled automatically and in the sim this would look something like this so um, now we are at Barcelona and uh, yeah it's around midday so um, very nice sunlight here at the moment and uh, this is what it looks like so we have uh, different cloud layers uh, which are yeah colored sort of as we as we know it basically back from the previous uh, prepare 3d version so that would look something like um, prepare version 4 for example now for the second options which is uh, just the true sky we would enable enhanced atmospherics and then you can use the volumetric cloud slider somewhere I would say between low and high ultra is really an FPS killer at least on my system so I think this really only applies to like really high-end systems um, but it doesn't give much of a of a graphics benefit anyway so i would uh, kind of recommend uh, try high and um, yeah if that's even too hard on your system go medium and then even low i think they all look fairly the same so um yeah we will try high for now all right and here we are now in the sim and uh, yeah this is what it looks like so First of all, what I really like about um, enhanced atmospherics is that we get this natural haze layer, which is all around us. And uh, yeah, that's really one of the major benefits of enhanced atmospherics. But on the downside, now you can see we do have some clouds. The clouds itself, I think, look fairly OK, but the weather seems to be very different from the previous one. And that's due to that the weather depiction with enhanced atmospherics is really not too great. So previously we had like multiple cloud layers. Now there's only one um, not looking too realistic in my opinion. All right, and now the third option, which is to leave enhanced atmospherics as a enabled, but at the same time putting the volumetric clouds to off. And this will now combine enhanced atmospherics with the legacy clouds. And I think this is really cool since now we, um, yeah, clouds are still loading. And so now we have the various cloud layers. Clouds are looking better than with enhanced atmospherics, much more detail to them. But at the same time, we have the natural haze layer. Um, overall, the sim seems to appear really nice and realistic. Uh, even some towering clouds over there. So much more variety. And yeah, so that's the three different weather systems in action. It really comes down to your own preference. I mean, if, if you kind of prefer to have the volumetric clouds, then uh, by all means, go for it. There's really no right or wrong here. That's, um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys uh, what the three different options would look like. Yeah, the story gets a bit different when we uh, look at dusk and dawn. So um, now I fast forward to evening time and uh, I can use this slider here to adjust the time a bit. And you will see that when it becomes a bit darker, now everything will get this orange uh, sort of um, 
touch to it and uh, i know that many people don't like it too much um, many people think that's really unrealistic now it gets into yellow and uh yeah so that's the different colors here and if we go back all the way to the morning hours so this would be early morning now and you can see the sun coming up and uh, yeah different sky colors and now it gets into this orange uh, sort of reddish thing again and like my personal opinion is I, I don't think it's too bad um now in this example it has actually been quite okay i've seen other examples where it's way more red and i really get why some people don't like the enhanced atmospherics during dusk and dawn but uh, that's again totally up to per personal preferences now another thing that changes with the enhanced atmospherics being switched on or off are the um, the colors of the sim and especially so the cockpit colors so here we have the example of a cold and dark cockpit of the PMDG 777 and um, on the left hand side you will see the picture with the legacy cloud system so enhanced atmospherics being disabled and on the right hand side it is enabled and you can see there's a huge difference uh, the way the colors are displayed and I'm myself I'm, I'm not an uh, not a real pilot certainly not a Boeing pilot and I don't know how true these colors are to a real cockpit but I believe the colors on the right hand side are just much more accurate and uh, yeah they will really get the feeling of these uh, typical Boeing colors. Now it doesn't make that much of a difference in the 737 cockpit or the um, Airbus cockpit for that matter but I think that's certainly something to consider when uh, choosing your, your weather system. Another area of improvement with the new update is the reflections and we can see them very nicely, especially during night time. And here I have the FS Labs A321, which uh, comes with a pretty nice lighting system. That's why I've chosen this one. And you can see around uh, like how the light reflects from the fuselage. And I think this looks really stunning and I can't, can't wait to um, yeah get maybe into some nice uh, evening or night landings with maybe even some complex weather situations and have the lights uh, being reflected from uh, from the aircraft itself, but also from, from the ground and stuff like this. So in my opinion, uh, reflections have really improved and uh, they are looking absolutely stunning here, at least in this example. And then of course, last but not least is the topic of performance. And I know this is probably the most important topic to most of you guys. And that's why I certainly don't want to miss it out. And yeah, what I, I wanted to demonstrate you how, how the performance is now with the new update and uh, Lockheed Martin of course they are claiming that they have improved the performance especially in terms of VRAM usage and now it is kind of hard to to verify if that is actually true but my impression after now using the sim for a couple of days is it has in improved a tiny bit maybe so um, it's it's not like a huge performance increase but it is a bit better and uh, yeah, just one example, we are now sitting here at, um, at Chicago, which is the FS Stream Team Chicago scenery, which I think is a fairly, um, yeah, it's a fairly good scenery in, in terms of, of size and also in terms of um, quality. And yeah, you can see it around looking down. We are on now what is the 4K texture resolution. So I think that's the ultra setting in terms of texture resolution. And uh, we are in the FS Labs A320 and you can see we are just using 4.3 gigabytes of VRAM at the moment. And I think this is really good. Now, of course, uh, only very few clouds around. Um, clouds are always uh, very intensive on VRAM if there is like a complex weather situation around. But for now, nice weather. And yeah, it's just 4.3. And I think this is perfectly a perfectly good value. Um, and I think Back in the old Sims of 5.1, we would have had more than 4.3 in this situation. And in terms of FPS, now I have mine limited at 30. That's why it won't go above it. But you can see it's fairly stable at 30, so it doesn't like mess about. It does does not uh, drop below like 28 or something like this. And you can see the camera panning is super smooth as well. So I think yeah, performance over overall is at least. On the same level compared to the previous one but i think it even is a bit better than 5.1 all right and so that's it really that's um all i wanted to show you guys um the settings and all the handling of the sim is of course a super interesting topic always so 
if you feel like you want to discuss uh, one thing or the another, uh, feel free to visit my Discord channel. Link is down below. And there's um, also the re respective um, settings channel where you can exchange your views on settings and all this kind of stuff. So I would be happy to, to read a couple of comments in there. And other than that, take care, enjoy your flying, happy landings, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.